What's up, everybody? My name is Paul. And I'm Luke, and we're Twins Austin. Today we're joined with... Matthew Moore. Matthew Moore for <laughs> Disney Plus. We're joined with him for Disney Plus. Yay! Today it is. is the release day of Disney Plus. <laughs> November 12th. 2019. Yes, it is a monumental day, and Disney Plus is here, and we got up at five o'clock this morning to do it. But I guess it may have been out before that. We thought it got it, got, it went out at five, so we got up at five and uh, watched some stuff, and now but then we went back to bed because we were tired, and so now we're back up and we're gonna watch some movies and just spend the day hanging out, watching Disney stuff. I took the day off because this is just such an exciting moment in, in the time of life that is um, streaming services. And if there is one streaming service that Matthew's been excited about this forever. I've only talked about Disney Plus for the past two years. <laughs> <laughs> he really has. So it's been a very, very exciting um, lead up and I've just been so excited to see things that I've never had the opportunity to see and then also to rewatch things that, that meant a lot to me as, my, as a child. So I'm very excited about it. One thing I like about Disney Plus, whenever there's a new series, it's not like all dumped on yeah. this platform. There's going to be an episode released a week, mm. which, which is nice. I think it prolongs and it creates a conversation. The one thing I didn't like about like how Netflix did it with the mm. dump for binge watching, which I think is like, for some people really love that. But for me, it was something that like, I felt like people talked about it for a week and then it was over. Whereas with Game mm. of Thrones, you would have talked, but people talked, I didn't watch it, but people talked about it at work for, Weeks and weeks and weeks, and it's like, man, I, I I thrive on those type of reoccurring conversations with people where you can get to know someone through like their interest, and so mm -hmm. I think that this type of uh, system works better in my mind. Yeah, what did we just watch? It's magical. Lady and the Tramp. We watched Lady and the Tramp. What'd you think? It was good. Were you shook? Yeah. Oh, that it was actually good. Huh? <laughs> Were you shook that it was actually good? Yeah. Yeah. So watching it was really fun and to be like, I don't really remember what this is, what's gonna happen next and I don't know. It was heartwarming. I love dogs. It was filmed in my hometown and I, one of the things that I love about the original Lady in the Tramp is like the houses and the way they animated like the, just the opening sequence and like the way that the town looks and it's just like very picturesque. Mm -hmm. And they made Savannah look that way and they made it snow and it just made me I love the motion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was a l I was shook because um, of all the live action remakes, uh, other than Cinderella so far, I have not been impressed with. I have not been like, that's like, why did you do this? Why, why, why? And this one, I don't know if it's because it was Savannah because I, it's like familiar. It was really well done. The music was really solid. It didn't feel forced. Like I feel like a lot of the other ones feel forced. It also doesn't feel like a cash grab in a sense because they're putting it on a platform that people are going to buy anyway, not necessarily for this. I mean, maybe people would did it for this, but but it's, I mean, $7 or whatever, they could get a free trial and watch it and it would be fine. So it didn't feel like a forced cash grab. It felt, it really did feel like just somebody put a lot of heart and soul into it and I, that was beautiful. So we're taking a quick uh, salty jaunt over to Starbucks. Oh, should I not say this? Should I not Please do not this? say this, Paul. Don't out me to the community. That's oh. me, that's me, that's me. Christmas time is here! So we've taken a break from watching Disney Plus for a while to go on, on a walk again to Starbucks. And look, I guess it's the Christmas decorations that they've got up so far. But it's very cold. It's like 22 degrees or something like that. It's, it's quite chilly. Bye, Matthew. We have to go to a rehearsal this evening, so we won't get to do uh, uh, Disney Plus all day, but we're gonna meet up with Matthew at our friend's house to watch the Mandalorian show. We waited all day, <laughs> which has not been easy, but we're gonna make it. Good 
Okay, I'll tell you why. Practice. Oh, um, where is it? Kevin, how was Disney Plus this morning? It was amazing. I got ready while watching Lizzie McGuire. Like, it was just amazing. Girl, what up? Uh, now you're watching Lizzie McGuire while. I love it. it. Yeah. It's my favorite. That's awesome. All right, we'll see you, we'll see you later. We're going to go watch Mandalorian. Mandalorian. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks, buddy. Is it really? Um. Mandalorian time. The blue glow. <laughs> I am sorry to flex on this stand-up show. Yeah. <laughs> so we just got back from uh, our friend Noah's house where we watched the Mandal the first episode of The Mandalorian. And what were you guys' thoughts on it? You guys like... That was good. It was good? <laughs> yeah, I liked it. I'm interested to see where it goes. Um, it's pretty ambiguous. I'm, I think he needs a friend. That's what you were saying earlier. I don't love Star Wars without John Williams, but that's fine, I guess. So, what were you guys' thoughts overall on Disney Plus today? We watched a lot of content today. We did. It was good. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so going to go into everything that we watched, but we did watch a lot of like little things. Like we'd watch an episode here of, of like Impossible or an episode there of something else. And it was cool. We got a lot of s stuff in today. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. What, what are your loves and hates of Disney Plus so far? I don't have any really hates, but I really love the access that you have to a lot of things that I yeah. haven't been able to see in so long. One of my favorite things, though, was like Disney Plus original content has been, obviously The Mandalorian was good. My hair's nuts. Um, the Mandalorian is good, but also, um, I really like the Imagineering. We watched the first oh, episode yeah, of the Imagineering. That was uh, good. Uh, episode of that docu-series that they're doing, and so that, I really, really enjoyed mm -hmm. that. So far, been one of my favorites. What about I you, Matthew? I liked the original things that we saw, and I liked having access to a bunch of old things that I haven't had access to in a long time. And, um... We were talking, there are a few of the 58 original animated movies. There's one that's not on there? Yeah, there's one that's, one that's missing. missing. And American Dragon, Jake Long, and Dave the Barbarian are not on there. Yeah. I don't understand why not, because <laughs> if they're withholding them, that doesn't make any sense. So I just think that they're yeah, not They're not like a high demand. Yeah. Probably right. because they were produced by another animation studio, which oh, is, is that why? sad. But, yeah. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, no, I, I don't really have any complaints. I really like it. I like the uh, the format. I like the layout. I think that the app works well. Um, today, it was there was a couple times where it would like just load for a long time, like on my mobile app, but I think it was because there was so many people on the app. Such high, <laughs> high volume. So I think that that could have been... I don't think it's... It wasn't glitchy. It wasn't like crashing. I mean, it was, no. it was good. Mm -hmm. um, some people on Twitter were complaining about the layout or like the... Like exploring, and I don't Menu, think... The yeah. user interface. The user interface. just like to complain about Yeah, because I, yeah. I thought it was great. Very intuitive, at least for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, you said the one thing you would change. Oh yeah, the one thing I would change is I would love in the search part, like you can search by category kind of, um, and then browse by category, but there's not like a browse by year, and I kind of wish I could select a year and just search everything in the archive from that year. Yeah. That's, that's what I would like, cool. but that's not something I don't think anybody necessarily would like think like of. Like a as of people a, a person coding experience. it would be like, yeah, let's just add this feature. Yeah. I don't think that's necessarily, it's just something that I wish I had. I, I recommend doing it. I, I think, think it's well worth it. Me on Instagram today saying, yeah. is it worth it? I said 100%. I, yeah. And if not, just do the free trial and see if it works for you. Before we go, definitely comment down below what you've already watched on Disney Plus. If you have it, if you haven't, if you don't have it, what would you want to watch on Disney Plus in the comments below. Anyway, we'll see you guys in another video real soon. Don't, don't die. die. Okay, bye. bye. Yeah.